Hey, everybody, welcome to Ask the Anabolic Doc, starring Dr. Thomas O'Connor, brought to you by his book, America on Steroids, A Time to Heal. And of course, his exciting new app, it's called anabolicdocapp.com. You don't have to even get a Zoom call or go to his office anymore. Now, through the miracle of technology, you just need one of these, and I'm sure you have one. So please welcome, I believe he's in Connecticut now. Not Florida. Florida. Oh, you're in in Florida. Florida. You are in Florida. Okay. <laughs> Dr. Thomas O'Connor. Thank you so much, Ron. It's been a while, Brian. I missed you, man. You look phenomenal, Ron. Thank you very much. So where are you? West Palm Beach? Is that where your office is? In, in Pompano Beach, just north of Fort Lauderdale. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, my daughter is moving to Palm Beach. Unfortunately for me, I don't like to have her so far away, but uh, again, everyone from the East Coast ends up down there. Isn't that the way it it's is? Un it's unbelievable. This is the quiet time of year, and yeah. the, the highways are like, jam it's like L.A. here now. Oh, gosh. It's crazy. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I only uh, do videos with you when I, when I try to basically take one of your, poach one of your videos, and I saw a couple recently that really caught my attention. One that we're not going to talk about, but I thought, I said, hey, did he make this video just for me? It was something about, can you live on 400 milligrams of testosterone a week? I said, hey, I do that. But apparently I'm not the only one. But uh, thanks for making that video. But it, it just confirmed to me how very fortunate I am with uh, the lack of, you know, let's knock on some wood here. With the lack of damage I, that I, I'm able to, uh, I'm able to still do 400 milligrams of tests a week. And, you know, so far so good. I'll get some more blood work done in a couple months, see how it's all going. But uh the video that you just did even more recently was called Natty or Not. And that phrase just, I don't know, it's like, it, trig it triggers me. It really triggers me. Um, you know, we, we, I think the most famous person on YouTube, the famous, most famous YouTuber who has made almost a, he's made a, basically a career out of the videos based on that concept is Derek from More Plates, More Dates. Uh, He's actually a medical doctor now, thanks to, uh, <laughs> didn't they just award him an honorary medical doctorate? No. We have to, we might have to just give him a medical degree. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. He's a, a doctor of bro science. He's very, very uh, knowledgeable young man, but a lot of his videos, not, not all of them, but a lot of them are based on is so-and-so and it's usually a celebrity, an actor, or just a famous, you know, Instagram influencer, or YouTuber. And he wants to break down is this person natural or not? And, you know, he doesn't know for sure, but he's making educated guesses based on the, the visuals, the way they look, the way the muscles look, the skin, the hair, just, you know, what's attainable naturally. Um, so you did a really good video on that on your channel. It's called The Anabolic Doc. Uh, got some good views. So, of course, I want to sponge off your, uh, your video. So, uh, first of all, what do you think the fixation is with people needing to know if 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 this person is natural or if they're assisted by chemicals so i really thought about that you know that the, the anabolic doc natty or not some guy said this is the first video in the world where he's someone's doing their, their own like that's like that was like wait a minute like you're doing your own natty or not ah you got it it was like kind of a you know it's kind of a it's kind of like when i say so you picked your parents very well you have good genes you did a good job picking your parents and, and if, if someone, oh, oh, wait, you know, people have to catch that. So it's like one of these dry humors. So, you know, Natty, you're, here's why it's relevant, Ron. Yeah. Because if you look at like Michael, come on, I thought you were going to say the most big one, the most. I, I Michael, knew you would get to him, so I didn't bother. We got to go. We, I know you were going to do it, right? And I don't know. I met Mike. I shook his hand at one of the Arnold's 10 years ago. And the guy obviously is incredible. I mean, the guy's super famous. He's super good looking. He's super muscular and obviously very smart guy. And I have nothing else bad. I have nothing bad to say. I don't know the guy. So, but Jesus Christ, people have made, they, people have made like, you're correct. Like Derek, they've made a life, a lifestyle, a life. They made money on, is this guy natty or not? So I did my own Michael Hearn natty or not. So, cause of course we're doing this social media. I've having a great time. So now it matters, Ron, because if we look at you and go, Ron Harris is saying he's completely natty. I'm going to, now look, it hurts, Ron. It hurts inside. Let's be honest. If you see this guy's natty, if, he, if you think Michael Hearn's really, really natty, you get, we're competitive people. We're, for, and again, forget women right now, men. We train hard, Ron. There's the arm. We train hard. 
we we I've done steroids. I'm open about it. I'm on TRT. You're on TRT. You're on TRT. You even say about steroids. You're on steroids. Okay. Yes, so, absolutely. Oh, that's I, I, everyone loves you. It's a new age of transparency. It's an age of transparency. Ron Harris is very transparent. Thank God. It's a beautiful world. Now, okay. If you said if you tried to claim you were not on steroids, people get vi the visceral anger. Ron, it's visceral anger because you look awesome, not to mention you're 51, 52. How old are you? 52 in 10 days. Thank okay. You. I knew it. See, I, I know you're right. Okay. So you're, you're not, we're not young guys, but we're enhanced and we're both healthy with the grace of God. Thank God. And you know, you're healthy. Thank God. We have to watch you. So, but, but you're, you look freaking phenomenal, but you're on your, you could get hurt. And you can't say you're natty. You can't compete natty. You couldn't go to the Olympics. You couldn't go into a competition, you know, far, apart from bodybuilding, which they don't check. And I'm not joking about that. Right. So like, like you couldn't go into, I have like amateur road bike guys, right? You know, roadies, roadies. Uh -huh. And they, I put them on testosterone or they're on testosterone and then they get better and better and better. They're in their fifties and sixties. Wow. They start killing it in the competition. What happens? They get selected for a drug test. They get busted on TRT. I have to write a therapeutic use exemption, Ron. Mm -hmm. And it, it doesn't always work because the organization, these are not Olympic level athletes. These are regular guys, but they're competing in organizations that have rules. So if the guy says he's natty and he's not, he's on TRT and his, his, his epi testosterone to testosterone, he's busted. That's like you're cheating. So there's a lot of reasons for why it's important if someone's truly natty or not. Do you agree with me? Yeah, I think, you know, you hit it on the head when you said, you know, it's forget about women, it's males. We're very, and maybe the, maybe the primal reason we're so competitive is because we're all competing for females. You know, we still have that caveman part of the brain that's, <laughs> that's wired that way. But, you know, we're always, we're also very, very human beings. We're very, very jealous by nature. If we see someone has something that we want and we don't have, we have to justify, we have to have a reason, an excuse why they have that or look like that and we don't. And, you know, I'm on steroids, but I can look at someone else and say, that looks better than me and say, he's on more steroids than me. He's probably on better steroids than me. <laughs> or, you know, the truth of the matter is in most cases is he's got better genetics than me, which that's really the root of most of these great physiques you see, natural or enhanced, they have awesome genetics. And I often say that people with awesome genetics that far into the spectrum, they will look better natural than almost everyone else with average genetics loaded up on drugs they're a special breed they're not common sense. common sense for me and you right common sense yeah yeah but uh you know as far as like i can understand you know why you might need to know if the guy in your gym is natural because that's someone who's more or less on your level and if you see someone in your gym and the, and you you want to know he looks better than me is he on steroids and that can be your excuse as to why he looks better than you but I don't understand why we care if celebrities, like especially movie stars, actors like Dwayne Johnson. You did, didn't you do a video on Dwayne Johnson? I, there's the rock. That's one of the biggest, we do it for clickbait because I'm having a good time. Why not? What, what was your, I, I'm sorry. I didn't watch it. What was your final analysis? I don't, I don't do it for click. I do it for <laughs> clickbait. And then I give it relevant information yeah. in the video, you know, so we get attention. And it's so sad that if I do a video called how to not have a heart attack, it doesn't get any <laughs> Ron. It no. does, guys. Please, I have a lot of love, but I know some guys think I'm annoying and everything. It's okay. I, it's it's okay. As long as my my mom still loves me, and Ron still loves. I'm okay. So, but I do a clickbait title. A lot of guys see it, and then I always give information, health information, to help the guy. So I I don't feel that it's like ripping people off or anything. And I try to make it entertain. I'm also going into entertainment now, Ron. You know, media. You'll, you'll see the future. We got some fun. Th oh yeah. We got some big things. Some, you, you know, you love it, right? You're going to see some big stuff. We got, I got an agent now. I mean, it's, it's fun. We got some fun. Yeah. Things are good. Things are good. Oh my God. You see, I was going to be in that big movie with vice TV with Michael K Michael, um, Michael K Williams. And he, he, he overdosed. And he's, he did. No, I, I didn't realize that was the same, same project. 
Yeah, I, well, it's one of the pride. He, he I, and I put it on my Instagram. Michael came. Michael's a follower. A bit was a big follower of the anabolic doc. He's he's a big movie star, right? Emmy Emmy uh, Emmy nominated four Emmy nominate nominations. Hmm. Michael K. Williams. Yeah, he's I a know big he big yeah big guy. It made world news, right? He just he just overdosed. Hmm. So. Uh, was that going to be a documentary so or, a, he, or a... He, no he came in we did it he did it for vice he owns vice tv or he has some deal with vice tv he so he did and i i'm letting it out now because i just don't care what obviously it's not going to it probably is not going to be announced and if it is you know go sue me if you want so 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 he came to my office in connecticut this spring with a whole team we brought a guy in that's really messed up on steroids he said get a guy that's really that's really going to be good you know he's a pro but he was cool he was like give me a guy that's fucked up we want i want to fucking talk about this God. michael wow. michael and my, six hours or maybe eight hours of filming i put some of the pictures up on instagram for proof and michael's right there and fucking michael goes out and the poor guy fucking overdoses so wow. guys life is so fragile and you know it's so beautiful and fragile we're doing all these things we love so i'm giving if i do a, if i if i'm doing a clickbait title inside the video there'll be hopefully something helpful and the, the natty or not i'm saying guys we're envious we're, we're we could be jealous it matters because i said ron on my my video it does matter if if the, the rock is is natural or not because for the rock he a lot of young men forget older guys like us young men look up to him and say i'll do anything to look like him and be like him because he's gorgeous i'm not homosexual it's okay if i was though right ron he's gorgeous he's a very good looking man smart as shit. he's on, he's on fucking gear come on he's on to come on guys thank you okay that's okay that's okay and i just think it's comical that he doesn't say it and is he really going to lose his movie contracts come on he wouldn't lose his movie. You know, I, I often wonder why can't actors just be, why can't they just be honest? It's because in the court of public opinion, they would be demonized. They would be basically executed by the public because steroids are considered cheating. Why is it cheating? Okay. If you're in the Olympics and you're on steroids, you're not supposed to be, yeah, that's cheating. But if you're going to star in a, you know, a movie where you're some gladiator or whatever, and you get your shirt off and you want to be super jacked, and you're using some steroids and clenbuterol to look like that. Who the hell is that cheating? I mean, they could just do CGI and give you a fake but body anyway. The truth is, this is why YouTube is so beautiful and your channel, Muscular Development, and Steve Blackman for, for, for finding the anabolic doc and initially, because I'll never forget you guys. That's why I'm always here for you guys, Steve you. Blackman and, and Ron Harris and Muscular Development. So it's where it all started 2009, the fall of 2009, better, a long time ago. Yeah. Long time, long time. It's, come on, I was the anabolic doc before that for maybe a year or two, wow. and then Blackman found me, here it is. So when we used to have magazines, but Ron, you came out, you know, Rich Piana came out, God bless Rich. You know, Rich came out, you came out, everyone's coming out. We need to come out, We come on, Ron, we're not fake. People, I'm not saying people should do fucking steroids, Ron. Yeah. I'm just saying you need to be open. Look at Ron Harris. Look at me. I'm coming out with it. I just opened up in the last year about all the medicines I'm on. Hmm. I'm coming out with it. Now, I'm just being open. I'm protected. I have media policies and lawyers and all this bull. Of course, I have it. But it's like people want, look at the comments on my videos now. Look at the comments. Full blown love. Hmm. And I don't get, I'm just happy to see it. But you know what, Deron? The truth is people don't want fake bullshit. This whole social media, the good thing about social media is that people are going to call you out. They're going to call you out. And I'll take the D. I'll take my criticisms if I'm hyper and I'm annoying. Okay, I'm hyper and I'm annoying. I, I That's okay. But when it comes to steroids, O'Hearn, come out and tell us you're on TRT, you've done some steroids. It's embarrassing. You're a cringy. It's a cr it's cringy and embarrassing. No one has respect for you in our community. Next, The Rock, dude, y y come on out. Tell us the truth. People will love you for it. You're, you're worth probably $150, $250 million, if not more. Right. Is it really about the money now, buddy? And I'm calling you out. I'm ca now, come on, Ron. I I think he wants to run for president eventually. 
Oh my God. But, but, but let me, but guys like me, I'm like the last boomer in the world. I'm 1964. I'm the last year of boomer. And my, 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 my kid even said, dad, you're like the old white man. You're like the old boomer. You're like the old boomer. I'm like, kid, will you give me a break kid? What did I do? So, you know, Ron, the truth is that people your your age, you're a little younger than the twenties and thirties. They don't want bullshit, Ron, don't they? They, they be honest about things. So the rock would take it like this. Remember, remember Clinton, he was a president, Bill Clinton, and he yeah, said he right. smoked and all the stuff he didn't inhale. Right. That, that, but, but Ron, that helped him. Well, because he said he smoked, but why couldn't he? Why couldn't he just say, "Yeah, I smoked pot"? Why did he have to go that extra step and say, "But I didn't inhale"? That's but, like but, saying, but, but, Ron, because that was twenty years ago. Now, if you say you don't smoke and inhale, and guys do steroids, now we want to look at the truth. For how is Ron healthy? How do you stay healthy, Ron? What levels do you do? Are you worried about, is it too much, Ron? Can you look at your heart? Can we look at your prostate? Ron, please, how do we talk? And you're so open about it, Ron. And then, you know, I, I had a guy come in last week. I did the history. He came last week, but I really met him and talked to him today. He's got, he's going to, his kidneys are severely damaged from, he's only 44. Mm -hmm. And he has severe kidney damage, his heart, cardiomyopathy, heart's coming back. He was in the, the hospital for a week. He's gonna, his kidneys are really damaged. And we're gonna try to keep him out of dialysis as long as we can, but he'll be in diet, he'll be in transplant guy sooner or later. Ron, he's he's really suffering inside right now because of he wished he knew to get monitored and to be checked. And it, and if he was monitored and checked, he would have used less steroids and he would have been protected. And I told him that, he asked me that. And, and I, I said, let's water under the bridge. Forget about it. But it it's true. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's what we're, come on, Ron. Well, so here's the thing. Like I said, this is the re I think the fascination really comes from. Let's put jealousy aside. People want to know, is this look attainable with with ste without steroids? And that's sort of a moot point because I, I've done a lot of videos. I talk I talk a lot about genetics because that's that's what people don't talk about. And I think people try to, they don't want to focus on that. They don't want to think about that because that's something that can't change. You're you, can right. go, you can go from natural to being a steroid user, but you can never change the, your bone structure, your muscle belly lengths. All that is predetermined in the womb and your daddy's balls, whatever. And you're not, you're, <laughs> you're not going to change, you know, a, a short bicep to a long bicep or narrow clavicles to wide clavicles. So, you know, so instead people focus on, well, is that guy on steroids? Because if he's if he's not on steroids and he looks way better than me, then yeah, then they they get really it's it can be very disheartening. But, but Ron, guys. but people in this world, in our world, Ron, let's talk about body dysmorphia. Yeah. If there was no body dysmorphia at all, th this wouldn't even really be a question. But then it becomes a spectrum of a little bit of body dysmorphia to uh, to more and more. And in in your world, Ron, you know you have some of some oh, of it. Come on. <laughs> You're fifty something year old man, and you have to look the way you look. I'm still eating every two hours, training two hours every damn day. It's ridiculous. So, so you, you just happen, to, but Ron, you just happen to make a living because of it. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's and and thank with the grace of God, we have to watch your health and your heart and all your diet. And you have very good health care because you are a VIP. You're in the world. You're aware of it all. And here you and you have good genetics. You have good genetics for health. Yes. Absolutely. 100%. Now, now think yeah. about that. And other guys, there's no free, Ron, I see it all day long. There's no free lunch. My mother told me something when I was a young guy. Don't be envious. Something happened. She said, son, don't be envy. Envy is a green eyed monster. And from money, from good looks, from power, from whatever. Envy is a green eyed monster. Everyone has something. So if you look at a pro bodybuilder, I won't say names, not that I even know names. And they have great, or well, flex, let's say flex, because I have to be honest, flex with some of the most, I know you agree with this, best genetics in the world, one of the top 10. Amazing. No, but he used some enhancement and he wasn't monitored and he hurt his kidneys and he has kidney transplant. So so now he's an African-American guy, so they, they're, people like this can be at risk for early kidney disease. It's all known, everyone knows it. So. 
if he was monitored and did less steroids, not to mention diuretics and all these things, could he have had saved the kit? Who knows? But there's no free lunch. His kidneys were susceptible to getting hurt because of what he did. But your kidneys are okay with the grace of God. They are, and, yeah. and, and it's possible that you use more steroids cumulatively than he's used maybe. Yeah, that, that may very well be true because he retired from bodybuilding, stopped competing. He did one comeback show, but he's, he's been retired for like close to 20 years now. So, yeah, and I've been, <laughs> I've been juicing so, away the whole time. So, so, sure. so think about it. So that's a good point, though. So when it comes to natty or not, it's not just this fucking guy. It's, it's anger because, like, he's lying. He's, he's cheating. He's, he looks so good. Like, if you walk into a bar – and you're with your girl, Ron, you have to go back to what you said, brilliant. We're men, and when you're on testosterone, you're even more competitive, more jealous. So I had a guy, I've had guys stop testosterone because they said, Doc, I, I'm so freaking pathologically jealous. I'm gonna kill someone. I had a guy look at my wife and I was just gonna like tear his face off. Wow. I've heard that, Ron, you know it's true. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. makes men more, no, Ron, I know it's the asshole, asshole on steroids, but some men, you give them testosterone, and they just it changes their their, their mood and it cha- they get their personalities is is enhanced. So if a guy walks in a bar, the rock walks in the bar and you're there with your wife and your wife's beautiful. So yeah. walk with your wife. And if your your wife's gorgeous, actually, you're sitting there with your wife and your wife goes and you guys are in the bodybuilding world. So you probably know the guy. The guy walks in and, and she goes, oh, my God, you wait, the rock. How you let me get your autograph. And then. In your mind, you're laughing because you know what I'm going to do. It's like this fucking guy, this fucking juice head, this fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. Your wife is attracted. And some, imagine some regular guy who's this big and you're not on gear and you're in Texas. And some, you know, who's from Texas? Um, the bodybuilder, Branch Warren. Yeah, Branch, yeah. I don't know. I just made him up. Branch Warren walks in the bar. Branch, I know, is like a five by five. I've, so, I've seen him. It's just unbelievable. Great genetics. And he walks in. Looks kind of like a weird dude. I mean, the guy is so massive, it's freakish. He walks in, and guys are going to go, at least men, women will be like, ew, that's disgusting. But men are going to look at him and go, look at this fucking guy. Yeah. But they're going to be envious. Yeah. But see, see, and, 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 if, and if Branch went, I don't know, man, I, I'm Matty. Ah. That would be, a, see, see, Ron? Mm. Don't, if you're not Natty, don't say it. But here we are. <laughs> But I'll tell you, the only time it bothers me, because I could care less if people use steroids, obviously, if I use them, why should I, it shouldn't bother me that anyone else uses them. Correct. But when I do see somebody who's hawking on Instagram or YouTube or whatever, they're trying to sell you something like, here's a, here's a good example, these male enhancement commercials, because these are big, big companies, they're, yeah. hiring, they're hiring people like Shaquille O'Neal to do their commercials for them. So what does that tell you? There's some money here. I see these commercials. And uh, I saw one, so this is for a GH booster about a year or two ago. It was a, some product that was supposedly going to be the same as growth hormone. And in the commercial, they had this guy with white hair and a white beard. He's working out and he's jacked. And I said, that guy's on real growth hormone. That guy's on real test. I know, <laughs> I know, because he looked like he had to be 55, 60 something. And I said, I can spot the look of enhancement from, you know, a, a mile away. And they're trying and they're making this, you know, if they had enough money to be on major network commercials, you can imagine how much money this crappy product was pulling in. But that's the but that's the that's the fake world that why we're we're trying. People want openness and transparency, but people have rights. And I do like The Rock. I did the video, you know, in O'Hearn. It's like they have the right to do what they do. It's like but it's at the end of the video. We want people to watch the video. And it's like at the end of the video, I'm like, okay, guys. I'm sorry, but I don't think you're, you know, you know yeah. Yeah. but, but so, but, but it does go, Ron, you said it, it goes to the, it goes to the limbic brain. It goes to the gut. It, mm-hmm. it does hurt. It can, young men, they look up to this guy. They're going to buy every P, er, Ron, they're going to buy his protein. They're going to buy his GH enhancer. He's going to buy his peptide. They're going to buy his food. They're going to wear his belt. The, it, we're people. Yeah. We are we're very social creatures. We see something, we want it. We want, I want to be like that. I want to do, we're in, Ron, you're an influencer. I'm an, we're influencers. Guys see you. They, Ron, how do you train? What do you do? 
you know, what do you take? I, I know you got the question. Oh, dude. And, you know, I, I, I get that all the time. It infuriates me in a way because, you know, I, would, I know to me that when they ask that, in a sense, they're discarding all the many, many years. You know, I've been training and eating this way for longer than most of the people have been alive, the ones that are asking me these questions. True. And so I, I'm like, why does it matter what I take, you know? And at the same time, it doesn't mean that you could take that and look like me. I, I say this in my videos all the time because it's the truth. It, it's all genetics. It's I say there are a lot of you out there. You could never take a steroid and you'll look 10 times better than me. There's a lot of you who could take all the steroids in the world and you'll never look as good as me. It's just, you know, your body will look, you'll be bigger on steroids. There's no doubt steroids work very well or else we wouldn't be using them, but they just make you a larger version of whatever you were before. They don't change your genetics. There's no amount of drugs in the world that could make the average person Dwayne Johnson, six foot five, 275 pounds of lean muscle, shoulders, traps, arms. You know, the, the guy's a, he's a genetic monstrosity. He looks amazing. And you're not going to look like that. And I'm not going to look like that. Nobody's going to look like that except but, him. But see, but that's, so that's another thing, though. So it diminishes the work mm. if you're natural, if you really are natty. And you, you, I know you agree with me, Ron. You want regular guys to stay natural everyone every, just as long as they can yeah I, I know you said it 25 years like the old days don't do anything until you're and if, if they start steroids when they're 16 or 7 that's just tragic I know you agree with that it's tragic oh, I hate seeing it that young hate it. I, I, but they're doing it in the SARMs we're not going to go into it but it's the, the world because of this Ron and because of this openness and because of this people are have they they have opportunity and accessibility to getting the stuff and knowing at least like what you do or what I do or what these guys do. And then, but if your guy's natty and he has to look at this whole world, mm. it's going to wear, it wears on people. And then it's, if he's training really hard and he looks great and he's smart and he feels great about himself, he won't feel so good because it diminishes him. Yeah. There it is. And then that, so that's what I set up with now a uh, Dwayne, you know, someone so big like that, and Arnold and everything, Arnold did it. Arnold has come out 30 years ago and said, I use some steroids. And at least he said that, though. Right. At least he did say it. And you know, we want Arnold to, you know, hey, Arnold, you know, I wish Arnold would come out with me and say more. We've contacted him. His organization has said, thank you so much. You know, he thinks you're great. Um, and there's no comment. Because, mm. you know, he obviously knows who I am. But I want to get, I'm trying to go to the next level of openness and, and under love and caring and like let's be fucking open maybe we're not loving and caring let's be fucking real about people and like people are doing steroids arnold you created this i mean yeah. the guy started it it's not really his fault but it's because of him and then from this point on everyone wants to look like arnold mm, yeah yeah i believe he said he used a tiny amount under doctor supervision oh my god he but did not funny, he didn't inhale the steroids you know but the <laughs> but the funny thing is i've talked to so many guys from that era now even mm -hmm. recently of some other new guys amazing i did i meet these amazing men of course and they did get they're like doc we did get them before 1980s from the mid 80s and under he's like i got diana ball anavar and and uh testosterone and 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 deca deca durable and, and so those that small number of drugs they will get from doc and depending on the genetics and training ron if you train so hard you train like a beast to death and you you don't drink and you you sleep and again it if you're if this guy's on drugs it diminishes you you get a sick feeling in your stomach you don't want to go to the gym because you don't want to be more competitive, Ron. You don't want to try. I remember being in the gyms when I was natty. My natty film came out. I would go in the gyms. I would do heavy. I lifted with Jeff King back in the 80s in Europe. And we're not going to say Jeff's natty or not. Everyone knows he was on stuff. Jeff had great genetics. I was. And his neck ever. Yeah. The neck. And the, the, and his, but his thighs. His thighs. And I remember looking. I remember looking at the top of his arm, Ron. The, the yeah. veins were. It's the first time I ever saw, you know, a pro, a pro physique, you know, on an, on gear. And I was there up close, and I was training in in, in Utrecht, Holland, with Jeff for about a week because he was there doing his thing, his whatever. He was being a supplement company. He was working for. He was in the AAU, right, or something. He was yeah, in. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I remember I met. This is 1980. I don't know, 89 or 87 or something. 87, 89. Probably and, earlier. 
maybe or maybe 86 maybe yeah. 86 jeff was there and and we were like the only americans so i would come back on my bike to train with him i trained with him like three times for like the week he was there big barry demay was around oh, yeah. and uh, yaroon this guy big yaroon this these are guys six foot six they're like 290 pounds just holy shit and i was 230 fat but I was able to back squat four plates, which is a little less than 405 because they have the 20, you know, the 20 kilogram, not 20.4, the 44 oh. pound plates. Oh, okay. They're the, the 44. <laughs> so you know uh, I'm a power lifter. So we had, they had the 20 kilogram plate. So I would, I, would, I had, you know, four plates on each side and I, I was important for me. I had the knee wraps on, maybe a belt. And I was doing like sets of like six to eight, like deep. And I, I was like, that was deadly for me. And like, I was 20 something years old and then, and then Jeff would take that and put four with 455. He would put the quarters on it, come back, walk out of the rack, front squat it, slow and deep to the ground. And his th his thighs were like this thick. And he would just, and not even breathing. And he would do like, you know, like eight. And he would just rack it and just stretch. He was stretching all the time. Stretch, stretch, stretch after the sets and do leg extensions. He was supersetting everything. And his legs, the, the legs were like a, a, a thoroughbreds with the veins. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, I felt like shit. Mm -hmm. I, I, did, I was just like, and that's when I did the steroids. And the girl, you see the video where the girl made me throw the steroids into the canal. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, I didn't, I didn't watch that. That's terrible. Oh. <laughs> that's it. I hate to see steroids being I came back to America and I failed because I went back, I went on steroids anyway. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's it's because we are competitive and, you know, I think because everyone, the general public, they see anyone who's got any degree of muscularity now, they just assume you're on steroids anyway. So the guy who's natural, he's working his ass off and, you know, not getting the gains that the, the steroid user is getting, but he is, he's not getting any credit for being natural because A, people will just assume you're natural and B, I don't think people even care, you know, because that you know i was natural for many years and i was one of those holier than thou naturals i wanted everyone to i had to tell everybody i was natural you know because uh you know that was my like excuse i had to like i had to say that so that's why just so you know i'm natural that's why i'm not big like <laughs> that guy over there or that guy over there he's on steroids and i'm not and you know i, I totally get that and i would be you know i was i, I felt a lot of that same insecurity uh, inadequacy resentment toward the steroid users See? Yeah. and you know eventually i hopped on eventually i got on myself but yeah it's i totally understand the obsession it's just that i the one reason i don't get it is because it's not like only a chosen few can use steroids like you have to win the lottery to anybody these days can get steroids and use steroids it's your personal choice do you want to take that risk do you want to put this these chemicals these hormones in your body is it going to alter your physiology and possibly lead to horrible you could have you know i've been very fortunate but we both know so you as, as a physician you've treated these people you know all the calamities that can ensue inside the human body from from steroid abuse and abuse of other things diuretics and everything but um there's no reason to be so resentful if it's a choice that you made you know i tell these people you know be proud that you're natural be happy because you know you're not risking your health all these people that you're envious of and resentful of, a lot of them are going to have very, very serious health problems. Only a very few are going to get out of this unscathed. Most of them are going to have, you know, you see it, the left ventricle hypertrophy, the calcium. That's, that's it. That's why you and what I'm providing and, and why it's so important to, I'm giving now the medicines to block and, mm. to, and to block the effects. Mm. You know, this is what this is my next step. What I've been doing it forever, but now I'm being vocal. The anabolic doc app has so many men. It's it's this is exploding, and I'm in there giving uncensored information to, to men about what to do. I'm and I'm never unethical, but I, but you know, YouTube is they might not like I'm talking about giving this inf information. You know, to men trying to really protect them. Hey, so if you're on steroids, I'm never saying take try to get off, take the low dose. Get, but we, we review all these men's. I, I review openly on the live show. We have we have pre-recorded information, tons of just local, just information that's only for the app. But it's not that I'm I, I'm isolating it from people, but it's stuff I give to my patients only. Right. 
So now this is going to be, we're given, I just filmed today, just tons of more. We're, we're just cranking content, but it's $19 a month. I mean, 19, nine, you got, it's an exclusive club. Yeah. It's an exclusive club. And I can't, you know, I'm booked out two months now. Now it's over two months. You know, I, I'm at a point where I can't take any more new patients. So I kind of, when a guy leaves, it's it's like, I still do consults. All, I do, I get like five a day all over the world because of Zoom, it's blown up. But I, as far as taking patients, I, it's kind of like on a rolling admission. It's a rolling admission. We have to wait for one to leave. It's like a... Yeah, so so like, you know, but but guys do leave, which is, thank God, which is great, because they just can't afford, you know, the 1700 to, Yeah, it, It's a little bit of money every year. It's a membership retainer thing. I've been doing it for 20 years, you know, so... That's, two, that's why I stopped going to Morgenthaler. You had to get a... You had to give him a retainer, and I'm like, nah. Yeah, he copied me. He co he he didn't do that until <laughs> me. He copied because he saw me in Connecticut with the laws in Connecticut, he, and I, I I basically plowed the way with a legal, with with the way you can do the medical practice, and there's nothing illegal about it. No, no. But it's just like the way he does it, and he has too many patients, and people complain about him. So I don't want that to happen. So I keep a very tight cap on the patients. So. Instead of hiring, I can't find doctors that I'm going to punch in the face. I can't explain. They're going to, it's never going to work. I'm going to, I'm going to, guys are going to join the practice for me. And then they're going to get Dr. Joe Blow or Dr. Frank or whatever. And there actually is a guy named Joe who's such a nice guy that I'd love to hire. But I just don't, I don't have the resources and the time to train that doctor. Yeah. I can't train I can't be, I'm so blown out now with time, with all, all my projects that imagine I have to talk to, to the doctor and explain the, 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 the hypertension, kidney disease, FSGS guy, and how you do it with a nephrology doctor. And we can cut down the test like this and back off the AI like this and be careful with the growth. I mean, mm. and the Vasipa and the PCSK9s and all the drugs and metformin and all. So I, I decided to open this which is exp it's revolution it's a revolution in in digital technology and pretty soon we may actually prescribe medicines through it appropriately oh boy okay okay you're almost there yeah we got some we got some cool stuff we have some huge digital tech guys we have some associations with the big tech boys over in the west coast i'm talking the big boys silicon valley yes well, yeah, we got I'm big. Glad, I'm glad you came out with the app because you know the whole for a couple of years you were talking about training doctors and it just didn't seem, I had my doubts. I said, I don't know. I don't know. I, Cause I knew you would expect them to all be at the same standard of care as you. And people would expect them to have the same amount of experience and knowledge. And how was that? How was that going to work? But the app solved all those problems. No, so, so I can't. And, and if we do, if we do brick and mortars, it's just going to be doing the best I can to have my, you know, my, my papers and my program of how I do it, you know, for doctors, but I got no time for this right now. I got no time. And, you know, and one of my patients said years ago, he goes, doc, you know, I love you, but where are you going to find an internal medicine doctor with experience that's crazy like you and a 500 pound bencher? With mountain biking with giant poodles. And, and with, <laughs> with giant poodles and baby poodles. Ron, you're awesome, buddy. I love it. Cool. Well, doctor, it's been a long time. I'm glad we finally caught up. You know, sometimes you have these videos. I just have to, I have to, have to get you on because I said, man, that was a really cool topic. The doctor, I want to talk to Tom about that too. And uh, we did it. So I was excited to see, I was excited to see the, the, the text. I was like, holy shit. This is awesome. <laughs> so guys, you don't have to get to Connecticut or Florida anymore. Don't even have to do a zoom call. Now the anabolic anabolic doc app.com. Check that out. You can become a virtual patient of Dr. O'Connor. Well, it's, hold on. it's not, huh? it's not, a, it's not medical advice. I have a lawyer in there full time. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. We, we, have, we, have, we have a lawyer who sits in there with me and says, it's not medical information. It's not medical. Inf That's how we get around the legal. So, and it, it's not medical information. So I hear the questions. I say, I, I say, well, this isn't a story. In this case, I would do something like this. But in the end, I don't bust their balls. So they get all the information they need and they go, they take care of themselves with their doctor. Gotcha. But okay. but they don't know where to go. Ron, and they don't they need to be directed. So I'm directing them. It's a directing thing. 
Oh, okay. Okay. So referral, you're referring people to the, the experts that they need to get. Yes, Ron, but, but they, they, they do. We have a built in digital history and physical that's all online. And it just, it's, we, it took us a year. It took us a year to build. It's like, it's like a 75 videos of to me telling you exactly how to go with the past medical with, I, I explain everything that I do. Like if I took you in as a patient, but it's a virtual, hmm. It's kind of like upload, like that new series from Amazon called Upload. It's like, oh my God, Ron, it's, Ron we're getting into a scientific, we're getting into a place in the world where AI, it's, things are getting crazy, Ron. Yeah, but you know, it's a good, it's such a great thing because you have more reach now than you ever could have, possibly. We're doing it. Yeah. We're going to do it, Ron. So one day I may not even be me, Ron. I could be, a, I could <laughs> really be that robot. We're gonna... I don't know if <laughs> I know good. the difference. Yeah, well, with, it's yeah. good stuff, Ron, with the genetics and the mutational and all this kind of replica. We're, 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 I mean, cloning is, we're, we could clone now, Ron. I'll leave oh, you on that, guys. Yeah, cloning. <laughs> well, that's it. Now you're not, why do you care, guys? That's what we talked about this time. Uh, great discussion. It's it's one that'll, it's, it's going to keep coming up forever and ever. So that that's fine. It's a good talking point. So Dr. Thomas O'Connor, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Guys, check that out. Anabolicdocapp.com. And that's it. We appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the channel. We just hit 300K subs. Thank you, guys. And we will see you next time.